Today, I'm going to show you how to change spark plugs in six cylinder Honda Passport. So, those you're going to need are three standard 3 8 ratchet um, extension. In this case, we need two extensions because of how deep the um, how deep it is through the valve covers and everything. A swivel for the hard to get ones in the back, and this is a spark plug socket. This is in this case the 5 8 one, and I don't know if you can see in here. In there is a little rubber boot like socket thing and that holds the spark plug when you push the plug in like that it holds it and, pull, and it pulls the plug out with it so it doesn't um, stay inside of there so you uh, need that of course and oh and a screwdriver for uh, taking off the air intake notice that it was running real rough like it had a cam in it so that's how, uh, and then I chip, took a couple of the plugs out and um, noticed that there's oil on one of them so I figured you know what I need to change it and I blew O2 sensor not too long ago so it was running rich so that couldn't have been good for it either so the first thing I'm doing here is taking off the air intake so I can get to the back ones the back plug is way back in there and all the vehicles are different for this really your driver here take off that uh, hose clamp Holds it on the intake throttle body into the uh, air the uh, air intake. That's what I'm gonna call it. Although that is nice and loose, you can pull this little hose off here and just take it off. Now that's off. See, these are the two spark plugs that we needed to expose. That's why we took that off. And now here are the other three. One here, here, and here. And this model, they are through the valve covers. The spark plugs are way down, so to pull it off, this is the wire. It connects. Pull it real hard. There's a long tube here. Sorry. Goes all the way down through into the spark plugs. You have to make sure that these don't have any holes in them or the wires don't have any holes in them because if it does it'll uh, cross, it'll arc, the uh, sparks will arc in between the wires and you'll get misfires. So plugs are way down in there. So that's why you need all the extensions. These front plugs I just have both extensions on 3 8 ratchet and with of course the socket just slide it down in there. Get it ratcheted in there and take them out. You get it loose enough, you can just get it with your hand like this. And pull it out like that, and that little rubber boot holds it in. This plug, that's not really good focus. This plug isn't too bad. It's about the color you want it. But we're going to change it anyway. Better safe than sorry. The thing is, make sure that you get the same number of plugs. Make sure the numbers on the plug are exactly the same because if they're a different number, it's a different heat rating and it changes everything. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it'll still run, but not like, I mean, they could foul easier. So remember to only change one plug at a time is what I usually do so you don't mix the wires up. Because if you put different, if you put a wire on a different plug than it was, then that'll change the timing, which will also make it run worse and misfire. And, all whatnot. Okay, now gapping. I forgot to mention this. You want to gap your spark plugs. I don't have a capper here, so I'm just going to eye it up. What you do is, the gap is the, the amount of space in between the diode or uh, a little nipple thing in there and the, the curved piece of metal. And that really should um, be exactly gapped with the tool. You use a gapper, but as you can see, these are pretty close, so I'm just going to put them in, they should work just fine. Put them in, have your plug here, here's the sock, or the, the uh, socket, just kind of just shove it on there, push it in the little rubber boot, and just take it, slide it down. Try to get it to catch the threads, turn it in, and get it hand tight so then you don't have to ratchet too much. I have the plug just snug. We're gonna take our wire here. 
And remember, this is the wire we took off of this one. And slide it in the valve cover. You have to push it in to make sure for these kind of things, you have to make sure that really hit that pop. I don't know if you heard it, I'll do it again, make sure you can hear it. Because you have to make sure it does this little popping noise, right? Ah, there it is right there. And then these, make sure the wires are still in, if you have these things, I forget, I forget what these are called. But uh, make sure they're all in there so they, you know, aren't, you know, they're not rubbing on stuff and wear out easier. And for, now that we change this one, we got to this one, this one, it's pretty much the same procedure for all of them. Now, for this back uh, plug here, took the wire off. It's really difficult to get a extension flattened in here. I'll show you what I mean. You can't get the extension in there like that. It just doesn't fit. Trust me, I've tried, you know, a couple minutes. So I had to go out and get a swivel, which is right down here. And now, when you hook this up, ratchet so it's like this, with a little extension, with a socket, little extension, swivel, and ratchet. It just barely gets in there. You just gotta slide it in, pop it off, and you gotta watch it because it'll flop around and make sure it's kind of straight. Get loose, you know, loose so you can get it with your hands. Pop that off. And loosen the rest up with your hands. That's it. Now, with everything back on, with my air intake on, all the plugs are changed, and here are the used plugs. Now, these are the these are in order here. So these are the back ones, and these are the front ones. Look how much more oil was on the back ones here. It's not good. So I'm well, cleaner like this, more like this one. This one looks not too bad. There you go. That one doesn't look too bad, but. That one doesn't look too good. So, job complete. Look, storm's coming. Hmm. See you next time.